but Oh shoot. Hello everyone, Loganature here, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Today, we will be doing something rather interesting. We will be pushing the boundary of what you can make fly in Kerbal Space Program. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll show you with this first example. So what we have here, I started out with one design, but changed my mind early on. And then, as you can see here, I started to attach the wings in a particular way. And then thought, hey, why don't I make this bigger? So I did just that. Uh, it was a little tricky attaching the wings near where the cockpit was, but as you can see, I uh, did it pretty well. And had to add structure and the air intakes so aircraft could fly, and I added extra crew space for the mass to be further forward on the aircraft compared to the center of lift, and I added the wheels in a particular way so that it would be slightly pointed up and of course gotta add the flaps can't have a plane without the flaps and more structure as well just in case and here is my first masterpiece i shall call it Rodan, because it kind of looks like the, uh, the old monster movie version, especially the shadow. Anyway, let's go. Okay, sitting very low, but that works. Let's go. Three, two, one. I don't know why that one kept doing the flame thing, but anyway. Oh, already. Oh, oh, okay. Um, that's that's enough going up. Ouch. Okay, let's go. Wow. Oh, I, I don't actually have much control over this thing. What? Well, um, let's... Let me just fix one more thing. Okay, let's give that another go. I added these little fins here. Might be a little back heavy. What if I... I know what I could do. Add some more 
power. Now let's go. was a little anticlimactic but I think that's all this thing really can do is fly in a big circle so let's try making something else so what we have here I started to make a type of jumbo jet and then decided oh let's make it cargo as well then I added the wings as you can see, a lot of parts went into making the wings. So I decided to redo it a little crazy with propellers. Here's me testing it out with the propellers just to see if they would spin or not. Now I added more fuselage I guess you could say because you can sit on board the uh, wings uh, and more engines and really uh, just a just a crazy amount of parts I was kind of going crazy with this just just because I could. I uh, see, see, I added engines and fuel and, and landing gear. Something like this. Wow, look at this behemoth. Can carry crew, can carry cargo. And has propellers. I, I don't think I've made a video where uh, something has propellers so far, but here's one. These are motors. You get those in the robotics tab, this thing, stuff like that. Um, got more engines here. So we've got one, two, three, four. So four, eight engines or four pairs of engines. And we shall name this thing Goliath. I think I spelled that right. Anyway, let's go. Oh, it's a bit a bit wobbly. Um, might have to add a bit of structure. One moment, please. All right, that's better. Let's see if this thing can fly. And not in a big loop like the last one. And we're doing it. We're flying with eight engines. Oh, this ran out of power. Oh, there we go. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. And this thing, this thing works. It flies. I believe. Hopefully, kind of. I mean, it sure does look like it is. And with this extra wing on both sides underneath. It's technically a biplane, or I guess with this and this, it's a, a quad plane. <laughs> Let's see if we can bring it back for a landing. Look at how magnificent it is. And God ugly it is. <laughs>
Okay, gotta be very delicate with this now. some of it. Come on. Like butter. Oh, okay. That's, that's not butter, that's, uh, something else. Oh, okay, yeah. There goes the tail. Anyway, I think we can, uh, I think we can go a little more crazy. So what I did here is I wanted to take the idea of the jumbo jet um, that I just made, but make it more streamlined or like supersonic, in intended for supersonic flight. So yeah, I, m I made it mostly of that kind of more squat fuselage uh, where people can sit in and of course I put more places you can sit in along the wings behind the engines adding the wing panels to be more uh, supersonic looking and then adding more fuel and engines beyond that and you see here I'm managing the uh, the design to be more more streamlined and so I adjusted a few things adding flaps and adding landing gear get a load of this now similar to the previous vehicle except a little more fast oriented I think there actually might be a real world jet that has this kind of engine setup I don't know and we shall call this one speed cuz why not let's go a little bit wobbly as always but that's okay. Let's get a move on. Kind of lagging there for a little bit, but it's, everything's fine. Jet does not want to point up that much. Perhaps we should add a little more power. These are kind of just plane engines, not jet engines like we've used before, so maybe that might do the trick. Just one second, please. Now this is more like it. More power. Going quite swimmingly. This thing still wants to point down. How dare it! Hey, if you didn't want to fly, so be it. Let's make something else. So I wanted to make something smaller, I suppose. Something more sleek. So I started with a few ideas. First I had that X shape and the double wing. 
and then just kind of experimenting around seeing what I could come up with until I finally decided to go with a design similar to my Rodan design from the beginning of the video except this time it would be more of a rhombus shape and of course I attached other necessary parts like the structuring and landing gear uh, to make it a full-blown aircraft behold I call it the rhombus I think I spelled that incorrectly but who cares let's go ah not flopping about or falling apart yet that's a good sign it actually flies and takes off pretty well would you look at that let's see can it do a good barrel roll Not exactly. Okay, okay, going all over the place now. Kind of looks like, um, like those fish that are kind of like, they're like half stingray, half shark. I don't know what you call them. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh boy. Oh shoot. Well, I see when you turn the flaps backwards, it gets a little uncontrollable. Alright everyone, I think that's enough for today. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite, and if you think you can make something even weirder. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing for more videos. Maybe even some weirder craft from Kerbal Space Program. And I will see you next time. Bye everyone!